Devin here. It is 6 a.m. I am just done. As you can see, my workout. Uh, didn't want to get out of bed today, and that's what we're going to talk about right now while I stretch out. Before we get going, please like and subscribe down below. Please share this with your friends. Uh, the reason I make these videos is because I've been in this fitness industry for 26, almost 27 years now, and the goal is to help other people get more fit and, and share my passion. So while I'm stretching out, here we go. I want to talk a little bit about wanting to get up and do things. Uh, I had a long day yesterday. That's probably the best, best way to put it. I uh, oh, a little cramp in my quad. I wasn't feeling exercise this morning. Yesterday uh, is my mom's birthday, and for me, that's a kind of a tough day, obviously, because my mom passed away a little over two years ago. And you know, I, I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, October 20th, just because it makes me think a lot about my mom, not in a negative manner, uh, but just in the manner that, you know, you miss her a lot, and, and that's tough. For me, that's just, uh, it's a tough thing to, to go through, to think about it all day long. So, uh, that's, you know, the start for me yesterday was, you know, October 2020 is tough. Uh, and then going forward past that, you know, I... Had some stress with my kids yesterday. Uh, you know, they, they weren't happy with me, um, which which happens. Obviously, some normal stresses at work, uh, like everybody has. So, you know, it, it ends up being a not a bundle full of fun day. That's probably just the best way to put it. And while I was going through this whole non bundle full of fun day, uh, you just get progressively more just down about the whole process of. Uh, of things, you know, you just get get annoyed. That's probably the best way to put it. You don't feel great, and you know, I'm I'm the first guy to admit it. You don't feel good. You don't sometimes don't want to work out. Yesterday, I got my workout in, did it. Came home last night, and I just was honestly, I felt exhausted, down. Didn't feel like myself. Uh, didn't didn't feel like doing much of anything. And uh, like I said, I had some disagreements with my kids. Uh, so that was stressful. So went to bed last night, I was tired, like good and tired. And usually for me, you know, I can sleep anytime. But going to bed last night just wasn't, I wasn't feeling overall great. Didn't, didn't, just want to get sleep and get the day over with. Probably the best way to put it. That's what I wanted to do. Anyway, did not have a good sleep. You know, probably because when you're stressed, nobody has good sleep. And uh, I'm sure I am no different, but uh, that side doesn't stretch as well as the other side. <laughs> uh, I didn't, you know, I didn't do as well in my sleep as I would have preferred. And because of that, when you have crap sleep, you wake up four or five times in the middle of the night, you're not feeling the idea of getting up and, and going to the gym first thing in the morning. So this is my morning routine. At least five days a week I get up and I do cardio. Why? It's a good time to do it. It was a way to wake me up. Make me feel better about the day. It makes me feel good in general. So that's why I do it. I just get up because I feel like, you know, at least I'm gonna do something useful instead of sitting on my phone and answering emails at the counter, you know, at the island. I can I can get up and do it here. And uh, you know, it's better for everybody, right? Everybody wins that way. Oh, I'm so tight today. So I was not feeling good having that bed this morning, and I have and created probably every possible excuse you can imagine to uh, to not get out of bed. I even when I, even usually when my alarm goes off, I'm up. When I got up, when I walked in the bathroom, had a drink of water, and I thought, oh boy, I could sleep for another 45 minutes. And that's not it's not normal operating procedure for me. Usually, I just get up. And, that's more my uh, more my style. I just like to like to get into things and do them right away. So that was not normal for me. And those are the times that you have to have a pep talk with yourself and say, "Hey, Devin, get the heck up." Really, that, that's that's what it comes down to. And you know what? It was it was tough because I didn't. I really, really didn't 
want to do it. <laughs> that was the problem. I, I just didn't want to get out of bed. Um, and I had to pep talk myself up. And those pep talks, I mean, those are the things that are important because you can talk yourself into and out of pretty much anything if you, if you choose to. If you, if you push yourself, you can talk yourself into things and, and be positive, or you can talk yourself out of things and end up with a negative solution. And that's, that's the key to pretty much everything in your life. Every, things are hard. There's always hard things. Me getting out of bed in the morning after having kind of a stressful day yesterday, it's not hard. I'll be fine. It's not the end of the world. I'm not about to keel over and you know, die tomorrow. There's, there's people that are way worse off than I am. But we probably all are in the same boat that we need to learn how to give a good pep talk. And my pep talks, I don't know if they're good or bad. <laughs> I, I, I honestly, you know what, I'm going to, you know, I'm trying to give advice here and say that you should give yourself pep talks, but I don't know for sure if my pep talks are the best pep talks in the world, but I can tell you what I say. And I say, all right, Devin, and I, and I, and I do talk out loud. And that is thanks to my mom who, uh, who liked to say that those are the best conversations she had because, uh, that she used to say, well, if you guys would have a better conversation with me, I wouldn't have to talk to myself. So that's my shout out for my mom. Uh, but I do, I talk to myself and I say, all right, Dad, get your butt up, get going. You chose to do this, you want to do this, and you'll be happier you do it. Just get going. If you don't like it, you can stop when you're five minutes in. That's what I say. And you know what? Once you're five minutes in and I've walked all the way down the hallway, got on the bike or for today was the treadmill for me, and I get on and I walk for five minutes, I know, let's be honest, I know full well that I am not going to get off the darn thing. It's not going to happen because I'm going to say, okay, well, geez, I'm on here. And then that becomes the second pep talk. Once I'm on for five minutes, I'm like, okay, well, I'm starting to feel a little better. I'm starting to feel a little more awake. I can open my eyes better now. Okay, well, let's give it another five minutes. Well, shoot, when I'm 10 minutes in, I'm halfway there. You know, and, I, and I've always been kind of a glasses half full kind of guy. That is just sort of my personality that I just, you know, I feel like, hey, you know what? Get your butt up and get going. And once I'm halfway there, I don't think halfway as in, oh man, I have another 10 minutes to go. Uh, I think, because I do, I do 20 minutes of, of cardio in the morning. I don't think, oh gosh, I have another 10 minutes to go. That's a long time. I think I, I'm halfway there. I'm almost done. That's, you know, that's my thought process. And that's just, you know, a thought process that I use all the time. So once I'm 10 minutes in, I'm like, well, shoot, I'm pretty much there. Let's get going. And that's usually when I kick up the pace. Uh, you know, the first part is just getting me, myself going. The second part is just getting me going in the right direction and I'm feeling good. And then I'm, I'm much more awake. 10 minutes in, you're pretty awake. You, you really have woken up now and the day does not seem as bad. And I'm thinking, you know what, well, I'm up and I'm not going to go back to bed now, so I might as well get going and, and put a little more oomph into this. And next thing you know, it's another five minutes to be high, and I only have five minutes left, and that's nothing because I've already done three times that. And once you've already done three times that, well, guess what? I'm, I'm pretty much finished now. So then I can gear it up and work hard in the last five minutes and, and really bust my butt, and then, then I feel accomplished. Then I can get in here and stretch, and I feel better after I stretch. Obviously, everybody does. Uh... I did a lot of years that I didn't stretch, and I've been stretching now consistently for almost a year. Started January 1st of 2020, and it's coming. I can't do the splits yet, but I'm getting there. And you know, this, again, it's a positive thought and a positive moment to continue grinding away at it. That's all it really takes at the end of the day. But those positive conversations you have with yourself, when you give yourself a pep talk, and you say, all right, get your butt up, let's go. Let's do this. Start. As long as you start, you don't have to be, don't worry about finishing. Just start. Just get going and start. Once you start to hit that pep talk, you can do this. It really isn't as tough as you think it's going to be. And nothing is ever as hard as you think it will be when you're, when you're first talking about it. Nothing is. Everything's actually going to be easier. It doesn't matter. The hardest thing in the world that you do is actually going to be easier once you start it. The starting is the hard part. It's like going to the gym is the hard part. You start the workout, that's the hard part. Everybody finishes strong. Everybody feels good at the end. That's just my thoughts for today. You know what? If you're having a tough day, if you're having a tired day, give yourself a pep talk. Get on your butt. Say, listen, you know what? You can do this. I can do this. It'll be fine. Get going. 
please like and subscribe this video down below and share it with your friends. I do this because I like to share my 26 years of experience in the fitness industry and tidbits like this where I hope to inspire people and help them to, you know, get over some of the humps that I, I myself sometimes uh, struggle with, like getting out of bed first thing in the morning. Uh, have yourself an amazing day, everybody. If you have comments, questions, things you want me to talk about, write them up down below. I'd love to hear from you. I love hearing from people all the time. Have a great day, everybody. Don't fight the awesome.